It's a Tucson Electric Vehicle Association. Started by a bunch of guys who wanted to put their own electric cars together. And now we're overwhelmed with Fords and Chevys and Nissans. We think uh, electric cars are really uh, quite the uh, technology that is coming on. I mean, it started off with a small number of people in the past, of course, and clubs like ours, but it's really uh, building so much more. Industries are getting into it, and more models are coming out. And so it's, it's propelled more and more interest every year, I think. Yeah, it's building fast. There, there weren't that many the first round in the 90s. There weren't that many made by the manufacturers. I think under 10,000 be a reasonable number and now you're putting out 10,000 a month. I'm a big electric car enthusiast and I had heard about the National uh, Plug-in Day event and I looked up when Tucson was having theirs and figured I'd bring my Tesla in and show it off and hopefully meet other Tesla owners and educate people about electric cars. And we've been intrigued by electric cars. We've spoken to people in the past who have Leafs, and and we've uh, and a person that had a, a Volt we spoke to, and you know it's, it's it's just an intriguing thought to us. We don't we haven't purchased one yet, but but uh, you know we think it's the way to go for sure. There's absolutely no uh, combustion engine parts in this conversion. This adapter goes to the transaxle, and from there, it's all the stock vehicle, except for disc brakes and, and heavier shocks. Other than that, it's pretty much just Volkswagen. The electric thing, I just thought it was cool that you could drive a car on an electric motor. So I decided to go with this project. And I've done all the work myself, just about. 100%. Um, I, and I did struggle with some of the electronic part because I didn't have any experience there. Um, the mechanical part I can do, but the electronic, I had to, I had to learn. <laughs> um, it's been fun. When I, when I take people for a ride, they're all smiles. You know? <laughs> We're trying to research information to get a VW bus and make it electric, convert it over. Our grandfather actually gave it to us, this hand-me-down. He started with it, he converted it to a V6 motor, Buick. So we're like, you know what, we're just going to take it one more step and go electric, you know, since it's going through phases. So we'll take it to the electric phase. Well, the fast charge is the charge that people always wonder about when they're saying, well, these cars only go 70 or 80 miles, then what do I do? Well, the fast charge will take care of you. In about half an hour, you'll get 80% of that back, so 60, 65 miles. Well, the i3 uh, is BMW's uh, foray into the all-electric market, not the hybrid, not the plug-in hybrid, but the all-electric. Uh, BMW made a su substantial, and by substantial I mean over $3 billion investment in this project to be sure that the car uses largely recyclable materials and has a sustainability that the car will have and even after it's gone that it doesn't leave a footprint such as most of the other cars in salvage yards and landfills around the country. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a scuba diver, so I'm aware of what's happening with the oceans, and there's a lot of carbon that's going to the oceans. We're rising sea level temperatures, so making a personal investment in you know, solar technology or electric cars is just something I personally can do, hopefully to offset some of that, that damage or change that, in my opinion, humans have, have done on the, on the planet. It's, it's something we have to live with, but if we can do little tiny steps and this is one of my one of my personal choices so it's, it's a personal choice it's a lifestyle having an electric car is definitely a lifestyle we we'd like to see more people driving electric um, I don't have anything against gas uh, I have stuff against gas prices and gas smells um, and noise uh, after driving an electric car for a little while and jump into a, a gas vehicle, it's noisier. It's an amazing difference, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you got to try it. You got, 
tell the folks they got to try one out. <laughs>